Oh, hi, Colton, Dizzy, and Ashley. Okay, so you're not going to get the reference unless you have heard of or seen this movie called The Room. It's flippin' terrible. Go onto YouTube and look up The Room. It will just have you in tears laughing. So I'm sorry that this video is so late. There have been some complications. And before I start my part of the video, I want to make some comments about your guys' video. First off, hi Ashley. I've never met you, but I've heard a lot about you. And you seem pretty badass. But I guess I'm gonna have to make that judgment myself. So I should meet you, like soon. Like, are you coming down with Colton and Dizzy this, this next week to wrap it? Because you were supposed to come last time, but you didn't. And then I didn't get to meet you. I want to meet you. Please come. Second, you're lucky, Colton, that I was able to watch your video that you posted on my timeline on Facebook after you posted your Yuanfen one. Because if you hadn't, I would have flipped out about your whole, like, I should tell you something, but I'm gonna tell you later kind of thing. It would have been like a very Potter sequel where I would have been like, did you get my text message? You didn't text me back about five million times. I would have, like, freaked out over it like a crazy girlfriend. Third, so you speak Russian now? Like, am I understanding this correctly? Like, niet Russian? If so, uh, you are now required to leave me a voicemail every morning that I can wake up to and feel awesome about. And fourth, like, really guys, making fun of the facial expressions I make, I cannot help that I'm an extremely animated person. And I think it is actually, like, illegal to make fun of, like, mentally challenged people. You guys are gonna go to jail because you're jerks, but I love you. <laughs> Also, you kind of just compared me to Jenna Marbles, and I don't know how I feel about that. Jenna Marbles is, like, super hot and super amazing, and I... I had a stuffed animal in here before we moved everything that I was gonna, like, molest. But I guess I'll just do my Jenna Marbles impersonation with this, uh... With this Clover Valley strawberry-flavored sparkling water beverage with other natural flavors. Oh, it's a good strawberry flavored sparkling water beverage! You have to be able to say their name in an exciting tone because water beverages like to be excited too! Hi, water beverage! Say hello, water beverage! Okay, we're done. Well, the summer has been kind of a, a whirlwind. Um, it's not been too bad, but there have been some kind of bad things that I will tell you first. First off, the biggest thing this summer has been is that my friend who shall remain nameless, <laughs> is teeter-tottering with me again. You know, he can't decide from one minute to the next if he wants me in his life or not. So that's just been frustrating me a lot because I have to run into him and I have to see him and I have to hear about him all the freaking time. And then there was also about a week ago this threat of a wildfire, it's down south, and it was supposed to be that if it changed direction, we were going to have to evacuate. Thankfully, that hasn't really happened yet, so I'm not too worried about it anymore. Also, a couple of weeks ago, it was just really stressful at work because we had these harvesters come in and then a whole bunch of people in the back come in and it was just busy as hell. You want to know how much I overrang the till for? By about 58 million dollars. Thankfully my boss is like a god and she loves me and she was like really chill about it. But I, I honestly had a little bit of a mental breakdown at work. I kind of freaked out and cried a little bit at the cash register in front of everyone. <laughs> We also had this like tremendous flea and bed bug problem and I went to Walmart and Rapid and I got like the flea and bed bug spray and Dakota and I cleared out everything. It took us 10 hours to move everything out into the yard and then we bombed it and we bombed it again and I cleaned everything with free and Lysol and I swept everything and we still found a couple of bed bugs plus on top of that Fleas attack me every time I walk through the door. So we've got the beds out and everything, but we don't know where they're hiding. And it's driving me insane. And on top of that, it's rained like three times in Gregory this summer because it's been so freaking dry. Until we put everything out in the yard. It's rained like almost every day of the week since the things have been out in the yard. There have been lots of good things too. I went to see Magic Mike in winter with Jamie last night. We also went to the dance. I got in 
to the dance for eight dollars instead of ten because I made the dudes laugh and because I was hot. I also got to see Beanie and the kids when I went to rap it this last time. I just downloaded like the entire series of Death Note. I was trying to get it onto my iPod, but the format won't work on my iPod. It's just gonna work on my computer. Hannah and I are going to Sioux Falls tomorrow because we worked it out that it was just gonna be us. <laughs> So we're gonna go to Sioux Falls tomorrow and we're gonna go shopping. Oh, crazy thing. When I was in Rapid last, I was hanging out with Michael and Alex and Autumn and Lee Cody. And Michael and Alex ditched us and walked around the park at Roosevelt Park and came back with a wallet they'd found. So they called this number that was inside the wall and the person was like, no, this isn't the owner of the wallet. I used to work for him, but I'll try to get a hold of him. That was on Friday. That Saturday, police officers found two dead bodies in Roosevelt Park. Uh, they found the body of the person who owned the wallet who had drowned in the creek. And they found another one who had hanged himself. Two unrelated cases, no foul play suspected. But the reason why they could identify the body in the creek was because Michael had turned in the wallet. And they suspected that the body in the creek had been there for a couple of days at least because of, like, the bloating or something. I don't know, I watched too much, like, Law and & Order and stuff. But that means that while we were at the park, there was a dead body floating in the water. Like, that's disgusting. But I cannot wait to see you guys next week. I am so excited. And I will see you on Monday. <laughs> You're lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa!